also congratulate them on their marriage, in strictest confidence, of course. As American as pumpkin pie and hominy grits, the brash, flashy, brass band bashy send off to the Indianapolis 500. The richest car race in the world, it was won last year by Tony Foyt. The lap record was Mario Andretti's at almost 170. But the Indy is no longer an American monopoly. Graham Hill won it two years ago, and he's back, the only British contestant racing one of Colin Chapman's Lotus Turbine cars. American Joe Leonard was driving another of these turbine jobs, confidently expected to knock the piston engines for six. The other Chapman Lotus, number 20, driven by Art Pollard. A leisurely row round before the start of what was to be the fastest Indianapolis in the whole fantastic history of the event. Two hundred laps of the two and a half mile track, over three hundred thousand pounds in prize money. Among the overseas entries, New Zealand's Denny Hulm driving an Elsonite Eagle. He was to finish fourth. Graham Hill, number 70, rejoins after a pit stop. This was the second successive attempt by these Chapman turbine cars. But the trouble started when Hill hit a wall halfway through, though he escaped the burn-up which happens to so many of Indy's victims. Into the pits for a quick MOT, the Eagle Offenhauser of Bobby Unser. Afterwards, Bobby was to make the laconic comment, it appears that turbines have no place here. But as yet, he hadn't seen what Joe Leonard could do. Bobby Unser returns to the race, soon to be challenged by Leonard's turbine. Then Leonard's in the lead, but only 20 miles to go, disaster. The turbine car breaks down. Colin Chapman's hopes are finished. The remaining Lotus soon follows suit, leaving the field clear for piston engines. And leading them all, Bobby Unser's Eagle Offenhauser, leading them to shatter all the records for the race. The fastest ever Indianapolis, over 152 miles an hour. With all the side benefits, this victory will be worth over £70,000 to him. That's one heck of a lot of crinkly paper. Terrible disappointment for Colin Chapman. Well, maybe third time lucky.